Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming something today. I feel like it's been so, so, so long. It, it truly has been. We're in December. I can't even remember my last upload. Um, I can, but I can't remember the month. But anyways, um, I am just going to sit here and do like another little, little chit chat video with you guys. I am going to share a lot of the products I've been really loving recently. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been like trying so many new products and there are so many things that I'm obsessed with. Um, so as the months go by and I don't sit on YouTube, I find new products that I absolutely love that I haven't shared on YouTube. So I'm going to share those today. Um, I also asked you guys a question as far as like what you guys want to see, what you guys want to know. Is there something I always like miss like when I'm doing my makeup or are there things that I skip over that I maybe don't realize I'm skipping over. Um, so I will make sure to mention all that in today's video and yeah, enough chit chatting. I'm sure I'm going to do enough chit chatting throughout this video. So let's just get into it. So I think I kind of want to make this a YouTube video. I think I'll do it later down the line and we'll like do half my face. Um, like inexpensive, not necessarily drugstore, but inexpensive. And then one side expensive with like my favorite products, because I feel like you guys asked me like, what is your favorite concealer? What is your favorite primer? And I'm just like, I can't just ever pick one. Like there's not just one. I mean, I guess like sometimes I'll share like the one that I gravitate towards the most, but as far as like my all time favorite, like I just never have one. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to share two with you guys right now actually like a few the elf matte putty primer if you're looking for an inexpensive primer that covers your pores and like doesn't dry your face or anything like that like I feel like if you're oily you could still use this or I'm sorry if you're dry you could still use this yeah this one is just like a really 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 good all-around matte primer I don't like to be shiny I don't like to be glowy I just like a really matte looking face so this really does that for me um another two primers that or another primer the filter primer from tula i'm obsessed with this i feel like it hydrates your skin but doesn't leave you glowy either and kind of just like evens out your skin tone even before you put on foundation so i really like that the other one i'm really obsessed with and i talk about these all the time on my instagram is these makeup forever primers step one primers now i have the shine control and the pore minimizer i bought the pore minimizer first the only thing with that is yes it minimizes my pores however it leaves me like a little bit glowy in the cheeks and that's where i put it and so i don't know why that is i hate that i wish it was just like a pore minimizer like matte but it's really not matte um and then i have the shine control one which i really like because it takes away that shininess or any oils that I might produce right here. I am more on the dry side, but it just makes sure I'm extra, extra matte again without drying me out. Um, so I really like, I want to say I like this one more, but I hate that. Like after I've been wearing my makeup for a while, like you could definitely see that it's like shiny a little bit more than usual. And it's definitely this primer, but it hides my pores really well. And I have really, really big pores. And that's just like an insecurity of mine. So I feel like I always gravitate towards this. So it just depends where your skin is at, what you feel like you need more. I'm personally going to go in with the um, Tula and Elf one today. Um, but it's just personal preference. So we're going to do that right now. And I'll just take a little bit on the like with my nail. And then I'll kind of just focus that like really where I want my pores to be covered. Really like in the center and the Tula one's really nice because you don't need to focus it like like a glowy or hydrating primer like I would like make sure I put it on the outer perimeter of my face but with the Tula one like it's not glowy either it's just a really nice all-around primer it has kind of like a tint to it and then I'll use that I usually use a brush but honestly like sometimes I feel like the warmth of your finger like really melts it in especially like right here in my pore area like i desperately need this to like really be working to the skin what i like to do i just i just did my primer i like to let that sit i will go in with my eyes while that's like sitting and really melting into the skin i don't want to go with in with like my foundation right now when this hasn't dried down and set really good on my face and then you're just basically m moving that primer around and it's not really going to do what it's supposed to do um so i am going to just take any concealer you guys know i use concealer for priming my eyelids it's just personally personal preference um i just feel like i've tried like the p louise 
and I'm trying to think of another one that I've used. Um, and it just really wasn't my vibe. It just didn't do what I feel like a concealer can do. Um, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations. I'm willing to try. I just grab this brush. This is an, an N, a contour brush from Real Techniques in R2, RT 206. Sorry, that was kind of hard to say, huh? Really tapping works the best in my opinion might look like i'm wiping but i'm just really doing like these fast padding motions kind of you guys asked for like a natural and i did actually ask you guys on instagram but i don't know if you guys thought i was gonna do that on instagram i can do that on instagram too but i'm just gonna do a natural look on here for you guys um, my, I mean, everybody's natural is completely different. I feel like I do natural looks on Instagram all the time. So for you guys to ask for a natural look, I'm like, are these looks that I'm doing not natural? Like I, I truly don't know. Um, sorry, I'm looking for my little makeup towel. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on there. I'm much more active on there with makeup looks, highlights. I highlight all, I put my makeup looks all on highlights. So you can always refer back to them. Um, I did mention that I'm going to do a holiday look. Christmas look with this palette right here. It is so pretty. Um, I'm going to use it today, but again, for a natural look, I literally, I feel like, I feel like when I do natural, it's kind of just like the repetitive thing over and over again. But anyways, I'm going to just take this, the lightest shade in the palette. It's almost like a white and I'm just going to tap that kind of like I'm just setting this little uh, eyeshadow or I'm sorry, brush came in the palette. So I'm just using that and it's kind of small. So it's kind of weird to like hold. And I'm just placing that like all, not going too low near the water line or near my eyelash line. And you'll see why in a second. I'm just kind of tapping. It kind of has like almost like a gray undertone to it, which I don't mind at all. Just take that just like that and then i'm gonna take a like smudger smudger brush or actually no let's just use this like angled brush this is Anna morphe eight two no this isn't the one i want the anastasia one this one is just a little bit more loose and big the anastasia one is more like controlled and and more i don't know i just like it better no preference but um i wish i could zoom in. i'll zoom you guys in and I'm just literally going to start lining I'm gonna like I love using powder as um or eyeshadow as my liner I feel like if you're doing something natural I feel like that's just it like if you're gonna go in with a liner like a like a like a um liquid liner i don't know why i can't talk a liquid liner or anything like that that's just when you start getting dramatic in my opinion i feel like you can do this like baby wing and just be so natural so i'm gonna take it and then i'm gonna just start i hope you guys can see this i'm gonna start just oh. sorry i'm seeing a little bit of creasing i should have set a little bit better it's okay though i'm just gonna like tap it out a little bit and then I'll go back in with that brush and kind of just work that in. Okay. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to start kind of like underneath. I'm going to flick up. Guys, like the tiniest, babyest wing. Like literally baby wing, baby wing. I feel like that's the naturalist look you could possibly do. Just a little bit of liner. I know people think liner is dramatic. I just feel like when you're doing something baby like that, like a baby liner, I don't think that's too dramatic. And then the reason I didn't set near the there is because I knew I was going to put the eyeshadow as a liner. So I knew I just wanted that shadow to stick there. And then I will just kind of go right above it and kind of just make sure it's set right through there. 
and just like I feel like that's so just simple I could even take like this shade right here if if liner is kind of intimidating to you you could just literally just throw a shade in the crease even your bronzer in the crease and then just set your eyelid with some like translucent powder or whatever powder you use to set your face guys and I feel like that just takes it to a whole nother level than just leaving it like one shade with no dimension I feel like that is as simple and I'm doing these white uh, windshield wiper motions which I usually don't do but because I set it already that concealer is already set and me just doing this isn't going to disrupt that concealer you will find on especially on my Instagram that I always like tap um and yeah I'm gonna do the other real quick okay, and then I I'm stuck between like two favorites right now. It's the NARS matte foundation, soft matte complete foundation. And then the Charlotte Tilbury one that I just tried on Instagram for you guys a few weeks ago, or maybe a month or so ago. And I'm obsessed with this one. Like, like if I'm going to pick, it's going to be this one. It, both of them are really, really nice. I think I'm going to kind of mix them today just because this one is a little bit light for me. Um, so I'm going to mix them, but usually like this one is just fine, but why not mix my favorite foundations and honestly i'm just going to take a little bit of the nars one and more of the charlotte tilbury no just whatever and i use that same brush that i used for my eyes the the nars one it's it is very 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 lightweight like i i'm not saying it's super heavy or cakey but the charlotte tilbury is just like extra lightweight like it's just really, really, really nice. Like, I can't even explain it. It, It is so, the finish is so pretty. Like, it's medium to full coverage for sure. But, like, I don't know. I really like the coverage. I don't like anything super cakey and full coverage. I used to be that way. I still have foundations that are that way. But I just, I'm not into that as much anymore. I just like something super, like, just soft. And you can still see my skin peek through. And it just looks really pretty. That's the Charlotte Tilbury for sure. Okay, and then for concealer, I will just say this right now, the one I gravitate to the most, the one that I know is never going to disappoint me, the one that I travel with, the one that is like an OG, which is inexpensive and just like all around really good concealer is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, not the one with the black lid. I don't personally don't like that one. It's too dry for me, but this one, this one is it, the white cap. Um, as far as like just a few favorites, the Morphe one is also an inexpensive one, which I really like too. I just started using the Bear With Me one and it's really good too. A little bit goes a long way. It honestly reminds me of something similar to Morphe. However, it just has a little bit more like coverage and a little bit more, I want to say it's a little bit thicker, but I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Um, and then the Too Faced Born This Way, again, I feel like it's just as good as these cheaper options, but again, you're, you know, more expensive one and it's really really big so i feel like it'll last you a really long time um but yeah so right now i'm gonna go in <sighs> i think i'm honestly gonna use this one and what i like to do is because it's like a pump i just put it on the back of my hand and then i'll just do like three dots um with concealer i say this all the time i feel like less is more however this shade I'm going to look closely in this mirror is not really my color. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the camo one. And I've been doing this a lot recently just because I feel like the camo one is just going to brighten everything. And then I'll use that like everywhere else. Um, but the, the bear with me one just gives a little bit more coverage. But again, I use this one for years and years and years by itself. I'm sure you've seen me on here. You've seen me on Instagram. This is like a new favorite product. I've never been really like a super cream contour type of person, but recently, I don't know what it is. I just really enjoy it. I think it's this product. This is a Kate VD liquid. Con I, I guess it's just like their liquid contour in light warm 80. And this is, it's a gel. It's called a gel liquid contour. And it literally is like a gel, you guys. And it just I don't know i just really enjoy it it blends really nicely and it's just like all around really nice i mean i can't complain honestly and then i'll just like do a little bit and yeah blend that out like look at how like seamless i just like a little bit down here just to kind of carve out a little bit Make me look a little bit thinner. 
and then this just will blend out amazing like it just like no effort really I've really been into liquid blushes recently um also going with the powder blush too but I've just been really into liquid I feel like it just brings everything out a little bit more um but you have to use the right one because again I have really large pores so a blush a liquid blush can emphasize it so I really like these are these are the rare beauty shade piece but it came in like a little pack of three um and then I really like the Sephora ones or flush blush oh my god like if you're going to pick between the two, I would probably say that one, but I only have one shade. Actually, I think I got another shade. I think. I have to find it. I don't even know if I've tried the next shade, but um, it's all going to come together. Um, And then I'm going to take my favorite powder right here. This is a Givenchy powder. Again, I did a comparison. It's a highlight. It's on the highlights on my Instagram of this one compared to the Maybelline one. And honestly, very, very similar, but this one, I just like this pink. I wish a Maybelline would come out with pink and I would be devoted to that one just as much as this one. But pink for under the eye, just, it's just something about it. It just looks so pretty. So then I'll just kind of go back under my eye just from like taking a while to set everything and I'll just make sure that's all set. And then I will go in with a little sponge. I'll take this one right here or puff should I say and I will just sorry guys I gotta look in a close camera when I'm doing my I mean a close mirror when I'm doing my makeup it's kind of hard not to honestly honestly I feel like tapping honestly makes the biggest difference and also just continuously working that product in even if there's nothing left not necessarily keep picking up more but just tapping that until it's all the way blended in i promise will make the biggest difference and i will just keep on tapping i will just keep on tapping and then for the rest of my face i'm going to use the laura mercier one however i don't really gravitate towards this one if i'm being 100 percent honest if you follow me on instagram you're probably like what the heck when's the last time you use that honestly it's true i haven't used it in a really long time however i was just watching Carly Bible on YouTube and she had Mario on there, Makeup by Mario, and he used this on her. And I'm like, okay, are we still using this stuff? Is, is it really that good? I felt like there was like hype about it for a really long time and then it kind of like died down. And he's still using it. So I'm like, you know what? Let me bring that back out. I really like how it just made me look completely matte in like a second. For my favorite bronzer at the moment, I like this Glow Wish by Huda Beauty. I have the shade Medium. Um, it's their soft radiance bronzing powder. I really like this one, it, especially because it's medium too. I feel like I picked a really nice shade. It's very soft on the skin. You can build it up or you can just leave it very sheer, especially when I go in with a liquid contour already. I don't want to go in with something even more like extra. I, I just don't want to be that bronze and harsh. So this is just like airy and soft. When I haven't gone in with liquid contour, I do really like the Makeup by Mario bronzer. That one's probably like my go-to when I don't do liquid contour um but that one's just like a very dramatic so i don't want to use that on top of already having used liquid contour if that makes sense does that make sense and then you guys also asked me about nose contour i used to contour my nose and be very like specific about it but i feel like now i just I do put something bronzer on my nose, but I don't use any kind of like harsh. I wouldn't go in with this liquid bronzer, contour, whatever. I just, I personally don't love that harsh, harsh look. I feel like it looks really good in pictures. I feel like it looks really good in videos, but in person, you kind of just can completely tell and it doesn't look as good. So I'll just take this, whatever bronzer I happen to be using, I hit both sides of the nose. No, like, and then, I used to go right under here and you could still go under there, but I still feel like it makes my nose look really long. So to make my nose look just a little bit shorter, I'll kind of go over top of it, like right in the center where I kind of want my nose to look like it ends. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. I don't know if it makes a difference on camera, but I feel like in person, it just makes like the biggest difference. Lastly, well, kind of lastly, we, we have a few more steps here, but for blush, I'm gonna go with this like peachy blush right here. Actually looks like more pinky I feel like on camera but it is definitely like a peachy blush and I'm just gonna 
just tap that right over ever so lightly. I know we already did a bunch of blush, but I love a lot of blush. And this is a Morphe, Morphe 8F Fair Play palette. I think this is it. I'm sorry, I didn't have enough time to like chit chat with you guys today. I feel like I'm trying to do a TikTok. I'm trying to do a reel. I'm trying to do like so many things and to go back and forth. It's kind of hard to like chit chat and then stop. And then where did I leave off and all that? So I'm sharing my favorites with you guys today. I hope that is enough. I know it's been a long time and I feel like I always have new favorites and it's really fun to share them with you guys. My favorite lip combo is a nutmeg liner and then I will share the lip after. You guys know. I always, always, always overline my lip. From the Sephora collection, I talk about it all the time on my Instagram. If you want to see it being applied onto my lips, go to my Instagram, go to my like most recent highlights, and it will be there. I promise you, it's a Sephora matte liquid or matte lipstick. It's not liquid, it's a matte lipstick, creamiest lipstick, and then it dries down matte. It's the most comfortable matte. I love it. It stays on like I'm obsessed. Um, I can't find that one. I think it's in my purse. I don't want to go out and get it. The kids are gonna talk to me and all that, and I don't have time for that. <laughs> I'm like running out of time. My phone, the storage is like not it. So I'm gonna take this. This is in the shade 75. It honestly, the texture of it reminds me of the Anastasia one. Very like lightweight and soft and like airy. Um, I don't know if you guys will understand what I mean by that. And hopefully by now you do because I say that all the time. Then I go back in with my liner and kind of blend them together and this is the final look you guys using all of my favorite current beauty favorites i'm obsessed um let me know what you guys think let me know what you think of this hair um i know a lot of people are like don't bring back the whole crimping hair but i'm obsessed with it honestly i think it looks so cute um but yeah i i'm i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what your current beauty favorites or anything i should try um like i was saying my phone is driving me crazy but thank you guys so much for tuning into my stories today or my stories my youtube video today i really really appreciate it i know i mean it takes a lot for someone to take 10 15 minutes of their day go to youtube and click on me like really like i appreciate that so 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 much so thank you i can never say enough thank yous um but yeah again let me know what your current beauty favorites are what i should try and hopefully i will be back within this month to share a beauty uh, or a Christmas look with you guys. Um, yeah, thank you guys again.